Let me ask you guys also about Survivor. Okay, so many people out there are in knockout pools or in survivor pools. And this is an interesting week one. We've got a lot of home dogs on the slate. As a rule of thumb, I try to avoid road teams. I try to avoid divisional matchups, but it seems like you two guys are going right there. Stucky, who do you like uh, in Survivor this week? Yeah, I wrestled over this for a long time. Now, I'm in multiple Survivor pools, so I have a couple different teams, but I'll tell you what I did right. in my most important one. Uh, for the most amount of money. I, too, general rule of thumb is I avoid road divisional favorites in week one. We just talked about how much success road home divisional dogs have had in week one. So right away, I said, look, I am not using the Saints. I am not using the Colts. And, you know, this is one of the most difficult week one survivor options yeah. I've seen in, in, like, in my lifetime. And I've been doing this for a long, long time. I ended up going with the Chiefs on the road here it is an out of conference game and i just think that the cardinals injury situation and one of the reasons why the line has moved so much is just so poor and i don't think that mahomes is going to have any issue moving the ball here against an already suspect arizona defense that secondary that is also dealing with injuries they're also dealing with injuries in the front seven uh, their offense is also dealing with injuries, and it's Andy Reid, who's always been successful in openers and with time to prep against Cliff Kingsbury, right. massive coaching edge. So I went with the Chiefs, and one of the most – look, and I'm going to hope that some of these six, you know, these seven-point favorites go down because I'm sure a lot of people are going to use the Colts. Right. Big, I'm a big Texans fan this week. And then you want to map out – you know, you have to have a plan if you want to be successful in these survivor pools. So I mapped out the entire season and I basically had to say, okay, am I comfortable burning the chiefs this early? They have the, one of the hardest schedules in the NFL. They do have a couple easy opponents, but I was okay with, okay, I'm going to use this team in that week when they do, um, you know, some pools out there, you have to consider Thanksgiving and Christmas as well. So mapping it out, I would hate to burn the chiefs this week, but I was comfortable enough to do it. It's just a really, really tough week. A lot of different strategies you can use. But that's the route that I went. Fair enough. We talk about Andy Reid off the bye all the time, right? Now in week one, he's had all this time to prepare. So Stucky's going with the Kansas City Chiefs. Raybon, what about you, man? I see. Listen, I'm a Jets fan. OK, and it's <laughs> sorry. Like sorry to hear that. I know. Trust me. I nice. know. I get that all the time when I say that my grandparents had season tickets in Shea Stadium, though. So, you know, kind of have to do it. Right. But, you know, you're throwing a knife through my heart. You think there is no way that Joe Flacco can beat his former team, huh? I, I just think that's the best play on the board. You know, I, I agree, Stucky. You know, you got to map it out. And it, it hurts to burn the Ravens this early because I think they got a game against the Falcons later in the year. So, but as you guys have talked about, it is a tough week one slate. And when I look up and down a slate, um, you know, first of all, you, you probably have to take a road team. You don't want to take a divisional team. Uh, and I just kind of went back and forth with a few and, you know, the Chiefs were were in that running, but it's just tough for me to, you know, in week one to go against Kyler, you know, who's still a, a great quarterback, you know, all, much of a line. But um, yeah, give me a backup quarterback uh, with a, a, a disparity in talent between the two quarterbacks in the game and uh, a disparity in talent between the, the two teams in the game. And, you know, just like uh, Andy Reid Harbaugh has been excellent uh, leading his team. Uh, to week one victory. So I feel the most confident about the, the Baltimore Ravens here uh, against the Jets starting a backup quarterback. 